Really, the airplane lands. I like to fly the pattern at 150 miles an hour. I turn final at 150 miles an hour. I touch down about 130 miles per hour. So it's a fast, fast touchdown. Long runway required. We like it when one of those long, uh, five mile long runways, uh, postage stamps, what these guys have done. I don't know how they do it. So. Results of this airplane, pretty, pretty astounding also. We won our first race with it in Reno in 2006 in a sport class. In 2007, we won the Super Sport Championship when we set heat race records and championship records in, in 2007. In 2008, more records. Our biggest record in 2008 was 409 miles an hour in qualifying. This is the first time that a kit built home-built airplane in the sport class or any other class for that matter had broken 400 miles an hour on the Reno race course. It was a phenomenal, phenomenal time for us. We're up there running speeds surpassing most of the P-51s and Bearcats on the race course at Reno. All the results of 2008 were pretty astounding also. Won the Super Sport Gold Championship, set a new qualifying record of 409 miles an hour. Had a heat race record at 393 miles an hour, gold race record 392, and that was uh, when we won in 2008. That was our 14th national championship for our team, which is a record there also. So records is a big thing for this airplane. Oh yeah, there's one other record in uh, 2008. We set a class C1B, an F, a world speed record at Oshkosh of 356 miles an hour in what they call a three kilometer speed run. That's an average of four passes over a measured course within a very narrow window of 300 feet by 300 feet for three kilometers with exits out each end. So it was a, a, a big day for that. It's, a, it's actually a fairly slow speed for us compared to what this airplane really does. But it was a, about a 25 knot direct crosswind. We had a window of 10 minutes to fly at Oshkosh at the EAA uh, Experimental Aircraft Association fly-in. So there was our time, we go, we took what we got. So that was uh, a, a good day for us at Oshkosh. So 2009, this is past September in Reno, a record a day, it was great. We had a wonderful, wonderful year at Reno. We set a qualifying record of 412 miles an hour. Now we switched and we're racing now in the category we're racing in, in the super sport class, we're racing on the unlimited class with the P-51s, with the Bearcats, with all those airplanes. So we're on the same course. So we have apples to apple speed now where we didn't used to have that before. So 412 mile an hour qualifying, we out qualified a very famous Bearcat called Rare Bear that was had won several championships at Reno. A couple, handful of other uh, uh, pretty well known Mustangs and stuff at Reno, we out, out qualified them on their course, it was a great day for us. Heat one record, 393.2 miles an hour, that was a heat race record. The next day, the very next day, we went 399 miles an hour. This is an average race speed now, over five laps. Then our heat three record was 406 miles an hour. First time a plus 400 mile an hour record had been done on a race course in our class with a home built airplane at Reno. We won our, our 15th national championship that uh, just this past September with a record speed of 407 miles an hour. It's a great day. So now we have another new record of 15 championships. The speed secrets. Everybody wants to know what the speed secrets are. I'm gonna have you look at the screen real quick here. And there they went. <laughs> Everybody wants to know what they are. Well, here they are. Here they are again, look close. Maybe they went by already. Oh, there they go. But basically, it's the same thing. Chase your dreams, use your imagination, strong teams support people, and just think out of the box and do all the things that you want to do to chase the dream. Sport class rules real quick, and then I'll get on to some questions here a little bit. There are two divisions within the sport class. Sport and super sport. Sport has a limit of 650 cubic inches, that's the maximum engine size you can use. To compare that with Supersport, 
a thousand cubic inch engine. We're in super sport, we have a 540 cubic inch engine. In sport class, you can't use any additives, you have to use straight pump fuel, no ADI, no anti-detonation injection, no water cooling, none of that. Super sport, you can do anything you want. You can use nitrous oxide, magic fuels, mystery speed additives, someone said you could use Viagra if you want, any of those things. So. <clears throat> Future plans, we have a lot of plans in store for our team Nemesis. We want to break a whole bunch more records with this airplane. In fact, I'm here to uh, announce to you all that we have established a, a plan for 2010 that we're calling the Nemesis World Domination Tour, where we're going to go out to a site in New Mexico, and we're going to attempt to, in about a week time, break as many as eight different speed records in two different weight categories. So that's centered around Memorial Day weekend in New Mexico. You can keep your eye out for that. So we're going to try for yeah, as many as eight. So should be a fun time. My wife wants to, know, wants to have an airplane of her own, so we're going to build her a plane since she always tells me where to go. That's what we're going to do, and that's the airplane called the TXT, or Trisha's XT. Then we also have in mind to build us a new uh, NXT 450 and an NXT 500, you can probably associate what the goals are for that. Anyway, we're working on a new website to uh, cover the 30 plus years of air racing that I've done. And also in that website, we'll be showing uh, some of the other projects that we work on through Nemesis Air Racing. One of which is the uh, first uh, four cylinder powered land speed record, ra land speed racer at Bonneville to go over 400 miles an hour. We did a whole body design for that airplane, or that car, it might as well have been an airplane, but it was a car. So we had some fun with that. The Dream Makers take sponsors. A lot of people won't go through all those, but uh, there they are. I just like to always have them up, show the hundreds of people or that, that take care of us. Have one last little piece of video to show you, some little cockpit footage uh, from uh, NXT. roll down the runway and we roll down the runway and we roll down the runway. <clears throat> so on behalf of, of Nemesis Air Racing, I'd just like to say that uh, AMA is awesome. The bug bit me. I started out in that park with those control line models and that shaped my life and my career and I'm thankful to model building and everybody uh, that's been associated with it that has helped shape my life make my life what it is. Thank you all very much.